What is up guys, as you guys can tell, I'm here with a brand new video. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm pretty sure you can tell by now, that I am sporting the CM Punk Best in the World hat. I got this hat for Christmas. I got this with the CM Punk uh, sweatshirt package with the hat, the sweatshirt, the photo right there, and a pendant. So, my hair is not up, my hair is down, I didn't put my hair up because it's the weekend. And I'm probably being lazy all day, so I decided to throw the hat on. Usually, when I don't have my hair, that's what I do. I throw a hat on for the video, and that's what I did. And that was a video talking about a Wade Barrett injury update, along with Money in the Bank not being at WrestleMania. Wade Barrett injury update. A few weeks ago on Raw, we all, we all know Wade Barrett got injured, dislocated his left elbow. Um, he was supposed to be out for six to eight weeks. And report came out today that Wade Barrett is now out three to four months. With that being said, the money thing at WrestleMania is now off because of Wade Barrett's injury. From what I read, Wade Barrett was scheduled to win the Money in the Bank ladder match, and with him missing it now, he, the match is now off because of that. You're probably wondering why? Because of Wade Barrett, they can just have someone else win it. That that's true. Someone else can win it, but the thing is, they have to wait another year to have him win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Because of the matches at WrestleMania, and the pay-per-view is not going to be here this year. And I know people are going to say, well, they did it in 2010, they had three Money in the Banks. Yeah, but look how well it turned out. You had Swagger cash in two days after he won it. Kane cashed in the day he won it, and then Miz cashed in like four months later. That didn't work out very well. Plus, like my, my friend Luke has said several times, three Money in the Bank ladder matches is just overkill. So it's kind of smart because... That way now the pay per view is back because it is now back to the, the, the July pay per view as um, fuck blah, blah, blah. the money in the bank is now the July pay per view as uh, a month ago it was supposed to be TLC pay per view now but it's now back and that's a good thing because with ba Barrett goddamn being gone three or four months the time he comes back it'll be money in the bank time so he'll be good and ready to win that money in the bank briefcase and become a future world champion hopefully. So it all works out to me, because WrestleMania, let's be honest, all the guys who's going to be in the tag match, if it happens, the whole Team Lair Nines versus Team Long match, most likely they're going to be the guys that are going to be in the Money in the Bank anyways. So to me, it really doesn't matter. So, I don't know what else to say. This video is very short, but I really don't mind Money in the Bank not being at Mania. You know, pay-per-view has been a great pay-per-view. Last year was one of the best pay-per-views WWE's put on in a while. So why, why would you want to ruin that by getting rid of the pay-per-view? So I think keeping the pay pay Money in the Bank pay-per-view is a good idea. Um, to me, being at WrestleMania or not being at WrestleMania is not really a big deal. Would it help WrestleMania? Probably. But would it, you know, kill WrestleMania? People were saying WrestleMania last year was terrible because there wasn't any Money in the Bank. Well, if you put in the money in the bank, to me, it still wouldn't have been, an, wouldn't have been a great show. Because you probably would have had, like, that eight-man tag probably wouldn't have been money in the bank. I, it probably wouldn't have. I know it probably wouldn't have, but most of the people in that match probably would have been in it. Like, Barrett, Gabriel, uh, Big Show, Kane. They probably would have been in that money in the bank ladder match. So, to me, it does. Shut the fuck up. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to talk here. It wouldn't matter if it was at Mania or not to me, so... may not be... Money in the Bank... I'm trying to talk. Fuck off. As I was saying... Fuck it, I'm done. No, I'm done now. I don't, I don't want to talk anymore. Because of the interruptions I'm getting, I do not want to talk anymore. My fact is... Shut up. Fact is, Barrett being gone three or four months, that's bad. Because he's needed. He's one of the top guys on SmackDown. I mean, without Barrett, your top heel is Daniel Bryan because Mark Henry's gone downhill and he's basically back to where he was last this time last year. So without Barrett, Bryan's basically your only top heel because Christian hasn't even been on SmackDown since he came back. So Barrett being gone, sucks for SmackDown. Might think not be at WrestleMania. Not a big deal to me. Maybe for other people, not for me. But this is the video. I'm out. Thank you for watching and fuck the interference that I had in this video. Thank you.